When it's fast, when it's loud, when it's on demand, it's Z3Sports.com. Z3Sports.com, the voice of excitement. Get out your seat and move your feet. We famous, everybody's famous. When you up in Vegas, can't nobody blame us for acting famous. That's right, famous. PH Vegas, you know it's all good. Everybody, PH. Welcome back to the round table, October 2nd, 2011 edition number four. Great weekend of racing behind us. Lee Fields Memorial 150 in the books. Bubba Pollard, the short track heavyweight champion of the world. Listen to that race in archives, Alabama Pipe and Supply Radio, presented by Prairie Realty anytime you want, only at Z3Sports.com, the voice of excitement. Coming up in this segment, Thomas Prater standing by with us. We'll talk to him about a really interesting stat that he's got for 2011 on the Gulf Coast. Looking ahead in the next segment, we'll talk with Tim Brown about the Allen Turner Tune-Up 100 this Saturday at Five Flags Speedway. Again, mark your calendars. Don't forget, that's going to be a Saturday race, not a Friday race at Five Flags Speedway. We'll talk about the Snowball Derby entries to date. Some uh, breaking news we had at Z3Sports.com about uh, a pretty big-name entry for the Snowball Derby. But joining us now... Thomas Prater from Mobile, Alabama. Thomas, welcome to the roundtable. Hey, Margaret. Thanks for having me, man. Absolutely. Listen, we've been talking about, uh, we, we've been uh, plugging this this upcoming segment about this interesting statistic that you've got for the Gulf Coast encompassing uh, the Midwest Cooling Tower Series at, at Mobile International Speedway, the Miller Lite Series there for super late models, the Allen Turner Hyundai Pro Late Model Series at Five Flags Speedway and the Buddies Home Furnishings Blizzard Series at Five Flags Speedway. Tell us about that. Well, it's definitely been challenging this year uh, racing the Super and Pro Late Models. Uh, it's, you know, it's been very tough on us. So we haven't had uh, quite that good of a year, but uh, you know, it started out good for us. We had a pole in Pensacola, and uh, you know, we've kind of been struggling a little bit uh, since then. But you know, we're we're staying above water, and uh, it has been tough running all 20 races this year. And and getting back into, just to be more specific about that, you are the only driver to date that has run all of the races in all four of those series at both of those tracks for the same race team. Of course, uh, DJ Vanderley has run all those races, but he did it for three different race teams. You've been with the same team, and we talked about you in the last segment as uh, looking ahead to to possibly a breakout winner. I mean, you've had such a great year. You've really come a long way. I know you picked up some uh, really good sponsorship, uh, a primary sponsorship, if you will, this year. And uh, it, Thomas, is that what has really vaulted you and the the Prater Realty Racing team to to being front runners this year, or is it just hard work, or or what is it, Thomas? Well, we, we did pick up a good sponsor this year, uh, Ken Stabler and Legend Wine Cellars. Uh, they've really helped us out, and, you know, it's just me and my dad, we, we're a good team, and uh, we really understand each other. And we're really starting to figure these late models out. And, it's, you know, this is, I think, our third year racing late models. And we've done pretty good in the pro this year. It's just the supers we've been struggling a little bit in. But, uh, you know, I think it's just uh, good teamwork. Uh, we got good people helping us, and uh, I think we're I think we're we're ready for a win. I know that. <laughs> now you said you've uh, y'all are doing good with the pro late model. Y'all are learning a lot. This is your first year running the super late model. From your perspective and from what you have learned, what is the difference between the two? What have you learned that works with one car and not the other car with having to run the two different motors? Well, between the two tracks, Mobile and Pensacola, and the pro late model, we just you know, drive it off in there about as hard as you can and get on the gas as quick as you can uh, because we really don't have that much horsepower. But with the Super, you really have to back it down in the center and make it turn, and then you can get in the gas. And, it, I mean, it has so much power that you can come out of the hole really fast. And uh, that's why I tell people all the time is they're pretty much the identical cars except for the motor. And, um, you know, it's really... It's really taking a toll on me trying to get used to that, that horsepower because everything I've ever drove has not really had much horsepower and it's all about momentum as far as this super. It's just, 
you know, press the gas pedal down, and you can go about as fast as you want to. Thomas, what is the difference between the 100 lap races that you've run at Mobile International Speedway all year and running the Lee Fields Memorial 150 with the 50 extra laps? Uh, we're not going to see that at Five Flag Speedway. We've got the Allen Turner Tune Up 100 to round out the year, and of course, the Snowflake 100, even the uh, the big season capper there, the, the postseason event is a 100 lap race, but it at Mobile, you had 150 laps Saturday night as opposed to the 100 laps that you've run all year. What is the difference for the race team? What is the difference for you as a driver? And it just, you know, what do you have to do differently? Well, we definitely, uh, you know, on the 100-lap deals, we, we try to ride around there for, uh, you know, the first 50 to 60 laps and then kind of figure out what we have and uh, see if we can't make, you know, gain some game some positions, uh, you know, in the last 40 laps, where as far as that 150 that we ran last night, you know, we had a, a halfway break at lap 75 to where we kind of just rode around the first 75 laps, you know, kind of figured out what we had, what we needed to do to the car, for that, so for that last 75, we could really do something. Uh, unfortunately, we got involved in an accident, um, I think around lap 100, but, uh, you know, everybody put a lot of work in this weekend. It was a three-day deal that we did. We had practice Thursday, Friday, and raced on Saturday. So uh, we put in a lot of hours getting ready for this weekend. A lot of hours, and it certainly paid off. Again, you, you know, you didn't get the results that you'd hoped for this weekend, but we're going to see you in victory lane pretty quick. It, it's really, uh, you know, really, it, it, you, there's so many drivers we talked about in the last segment that are right there running up front. Every week, you're one of them. Kyle Bryant's one of them. You two are the ones that really stand out. But, hey, we didn't talk, call you to talk to you about Kyle Bryant. Let's talk about Thomas Prater. What can we look for in the Allen Turner Hyundai 100 this weekend and the Snowflake 100 in December? And, Thomas, do you go into the Allen Turner Tune-Up 100 testing for the Snowflake 100, or is it just another race? Well, you know, we do have the... Uh the, the practice in November for the snowball. But snowball is a completely different animal that we uh, that we don't really attack until it's time for it. Now, granted, the uh, the five races that we run in the pro, you know, are you know figuring uh, I guess the setup out for the snowflake that really helps us out and you know it gets me used to the track, used to the car, you know what we need to do to the car to to make it change to you know if it's tight or loose or something like that, but. You know, I think this weekend we're just looking to make 100 laps, uh, maybe maybe a top five finish. Hopefully we'll get another pole and uh, keep it all in one piece. Certainly look forward to seeing you at Five Flag Speedway this weekend. And congratulations on that stat. Hope you keep it up. That's going to be something to be proud of if you can make that work out the, in these last few races. Uh, Mobile's done. You just got a couple more at Pensacola, and you can call yourself the only man to, to run all of those races for the same race team in 2011. Thomas, we thank you for being on the roundtable. Look forward to talking to you this weekend. Sound good, guys. I appreciate y'all having me. Absolutely. That's Thomas Prater driving the number 12 Prater Realty G-Force. And, hey, we could go on all day about the sponsors on that number 12 car, John. Uh, the Prater team has really done a great job doing what they need to do to get out there and beat the bushes and get those sponsors. If if we saw more work like that going on at some of these race teams, it would uh, really fund their operation to get them, you know, where they need to be and, and get them up front. Plenty more to talk about when the race, t- when the round table, or the race table, whatever you want to call it, returns. We'll talk with Tim Bryan about this weekend's Allen Turner Tune-Up 100 coming up at Five Flags Speedway. Don't go away. <laughs> 